Hello, bonjour everybody. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching my video and special thanks for those who subscribe to my channel. This video will be about the game called Panzer by, made by GMT. On this video I will try to explain the basic rules of the combat phase. As I'm learning the basic rules of the game I decide to make those YouTube videos to show how it work the basic rules and also, also hopefully confirm the way I understand is correct and if I'm wrong someone will write a comment below and send me in the right direction. Also it may, it may interest someone to learn and play the game as well. In my previous video about a command I said that if you decide to use a command called Overwatch the vehicle need to see a vehicle that it will be firing at. I was wrong, you can place overwatch command to over any vehicle regardless they have target spot in the previous uh, what do you call it? sequence of play they call that uh, during the spotting phase so even if he doesn't spot any vehicle he may use the command overwatch meaning he hope at some point a vehicle will appear, appear in front of him in range and it will try to hit and destroy. So that's the understanding. I was wrong and my uh, command phase explanation of the overwatch. So you don't need to see a target. You can place and if a target have happened to move in your range you may decide to fire at but you don't have to. So let's talk about the carb. So we're going to use the carb C, sequence of play, combat phase, direct fire, combat step. A and direct fire is only for advanced rules, so we will not be using. It starts with the first player, and we, to determine who's the first player, during the initiative phase, we roll a dice, IU dice, one the initiative, and in this case, previous video, the Soviet won the initiative, so we'll let the Soviet play first. So we're going to go first player, second player, and overwatch uh, vehicle. In this case, because they go first, they will turn their command that show fire, firing, or fire and movement or short out. You don't have to show them all in one shot, you can decide to show the command one after each others to make sure that you don't forget any of them as long as there's no two who aim at the same target. So he is aiming at this target and you have the command fire and he is aiming at that target with the command of fire, you will have to show both command because both will shoot at the same time. Otherwise, you just turn your command at a time, tell which target will be aim and fire at. After that is complete, the sequence is complete, you, you take the next command until all your fire or short, fire short alt are used. And then the second player will do the same on his side. So that's the basic of how you proceed. So let's see if that vehicle wants to fire at a German tank, what are the steps? So we go with this vehicle, he turn, it's common card, it's a firing. Then you said who you're firing at. You're firing at the Panzer 4J here. You count the distance 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. He is 6x away. We look. 6x is short range, so penetration is 17, and the armor is 13. So we know we can damage or destroy the Panzer IV. Now we need to know what do we need to roll to make it the target destroy or hit. So basically hit. We come to game card A. There's two tables we're going to use during that phase is 
AP hit mod fire and the AP hit and AP hit mod fire. AP hit it shows zero is your starting line and you get the range P S M L E like on the game card or the data card for the vehicle I mentioned AP and we know that is in short range so 70 so you need to roll 70 and under to hit the German tank for that you have to look at the hit modifier here target size we already know with the data card the target size is 0 is there any other modifier the next is target moving does the command underneath is said moving or short fire short alt at this time the player with the Panzer 4 will turn the card the command card if it is one of those two command moving or short alt in the case it's not you can just keep it down and see the command have no effect on the hit modifier so the Soviet know it's not a moving or shoot and move command card here so we know now the target moving is nothing we need to look at if they are in cover they are in the wood and light cover so we come over here we look light cover minus one so the Soviet will need to roll with a AP hit modifier of minus one so it's 70 63 so if he roll on the 63 he would hit the German vehicle so we take the dice we roll we have a 6 and a 3 63 so there's a hit we come at the command card and we know that the penetration is 17 and the armor is 13 now in the game rules 1, 2, 4 if I remember right just give me a second here here it said 1, 2, 3 is penetration factor the armor will be damaged 4 to 9 it's a knockout and 10 or more is a burn out vehicle so there's a difference of 4 so the vehicle is destroyed so it's knockout so you put the knockout over the vehicle so we know that vehicle is knockout then we will take this guy it turn around it's firing as well and he will be aiming at this Panzer 4 so we look at the range 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so we know uh, we need the data card it's still in short range 6 17 penetration against 13 so he can knock out the German tank we're going to look at the hit mod fire first target size we know it's 0 does the target is moving so at this time the German said yes there's a hit mod fire it said move so the vehicle was about to move so we give a minus 2 does the R on in cover no it's not in cover it is in the open it's not a short alt from him he's firing but there's a brew up vehicle in between so the brew up vehicle say a minus two so we take a minus two plus minus two minus four we come on the line short 70 minus four it's 42 so you need to roll 42 or under you roll 64 the 74 this time so we know the vehicle uh, the, he missed the target so he is safe
to shoot at, we turn the data and it show firing short out and the target will be him. So we calculate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's at a distance of eight. We ask for the hit modifier if the command have an impact. The German look, he said there's no impact on the hit modifier. So when we look, target size is zero. It did not move. He is in the open. But because it's a short out, we come short out, there's a minus four for him. And there's no obstacle to hide the vehicle. Okay. So we need to roll minus four. And we know his man is medium range, so 5 minus 4, 30. He need to roll 30 or below. In this case, he rolled 72. The vehicle will be fine. So that complete shooting for the three Soviet vehicles. In the case where all those vehicles have not been damaged or knocked out, we're going to use the German, so to go with the example here. The German intend to fire at him using fire card here and firing with him. So both will be shooting at this guy. First one to shoot is this vehicle. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's in a range of six. So we look at data card, AP6, penetration is 20, and it's short range, and the armor is 18. Now we look at the modifier to hit, target size is 0 for the T34, target shoot so did not move, is in the open so there's no cover. So the modifier is zero for medium, medium range. Is it medium range? We said it was at? Yes. No? It's seven, so it's short range. So we look at short range. Zero, 70. It will need to roll 70 and below to hit the target. So we take the German, we roll. And he rolled 70, so he hit. We come back to the card with a hit and penetration 20. And the vehicle armor is 18. He damaged the vehicle. So we can put a damaged vehicle here. If the difference will be higher and the vehicle was destroyed, this vehicle is considered to have firing at the same time. So it will not be firing anymore. He cannot change target. His shot went to this guy. So to recap, both target aim at the same both aim at the same target. You choose which one go first. He gave his shot. If he can knock out the vehicle or brew up the vehicle, this one doesn't have to fire her. And he cannot change, or he doesn't have. He considered to have firing at the same target at the same time, so the result is the same knockout. He cannot say, oh, this time I can change it for this guy. The target is still that one. If the vehicle is just knocked out, not knock out but only damage, we will come to him and we will try to fire at the guy. Because during the basic rule, if he have twice received damage, the vehicle will be destroyed. So we will count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven range. We'll be looking at seven range. It's short. There's nothing to cover the vehicle and the target is not moving, we would roll. And if we roll 
70 or below, like 39, the vehicle would be damaged for a second time, so he is knocked out. This one doesn't shoot, and this one here has overwatch. So once everybody have shooting, done their shooting, we turn the overwatch and give the opportunity to people who have overwatch, Soviet or German, to decide to fire right now. In this case, the German said, I'm not using, and it stay idle, and that will complete the turn. So when the combat phase is finished on both sides, usually the overwatch vehicle maybe at this time decide to shoot, but it may pass as well. And then we go to the next phase, the movement phase, and again on both sides, if there's any overwatch vehicle, maybe they may decide to shoot or just let go. So how does overwatch go for shooting? Let's see, my Panzer IV is on overwatch, and this vehicle has the command fire and short out, or even, let's see, the command is move because he will try to capture the bridge. So the movement for the T-34 is six track movement, eight on dirt road, and 12 on asphalt. So he may move up to six square, uh, hexagonal. So when he starts to move, he's facing this way, he moves one, he needs to pose to give a chance to the opponent to fire, he said, I pass. He moved twice, for example, and said, I'm going to stop here. Then the German vehicle on the overwatch may decide, I would like to take a shot. So take a shot, go the same principle. We look at the distance. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exo. So then we look at the German card. It's a short range. And the AP penetration is 20 against 18. So it may damage the vehicle. So next, we need to define the hit modifier. In this case, it's open. The target size is zero, the target move, so it's minus two, there's no cover, there's no obstacle in between, so we're going to go, actually let's show the card, so target size zero, target moving minus two, there's no cover, the shooter has no damage, and we go down, and we see overwatch minus one. Overwatch adjust is for two or less uh, gun or armored vehicle or whatever that fire IAP. That cannot aim directly at the target, so there's a penalty for turning the gun and staying, for example, toward the target, but that is advanced ruling. So Overwatch, minus one, so minus two, minus one, so there's a penalty of three. We come short range 70, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. He need to roll 49 and below to hit the target. So we take the dice and we turn, and we turn 32. So the target is hit. And we look, the armor is 18, and penetration, penetration is 20. So there's a difference of less than three, the vehicle will be damaged. So we put a damage over hit. So that's our work over watch. When it's time to fire, you calculate the distance between 
the target and the overwatch vehicle. Then you apply any hit modifier to see what it will be the dice to roll for hitting the target. During the combat phase, you may replace after each shooting the spotting uh, token to replace with the new one for this turn. So uh, this one was used during the previous turn, so when we arrive in this turn and do spotting, we know what is the effect for spotting, if they have move or fire or nothing. So in this case, it was move and we replace with fire and we put the firing on top of him. The same for him, we place the fire and this one we place like this so we know he completed his phase of combat, he fired and when we go to the next phase where it is a uh, movement we know that we need to do the movement but that would be my next video. So we do, the German is doing the same thing, he just fired, he put the spotting as firing, this one he put spotting at firing, this one he can remove it, and this one he doesn't need, he can remove, or he can stay there. And that will complete sequence of play phase 5, where it is combat phase. So I hope you appreciate. If you find mistake in mine, or it's not really clear, please leave a comment. I will try to answer as soon as I can. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the demo. Bye-bye.